Hush Mama. Hi guys, so this video is about buying land in Jamaica. So a lot of the videos I've done are about new developments, uh, but I wanted to show you guys some land that's for sale in Jamaica. So one of the websites I use to search for properties or land is Golden Gates Realty, and I'll put the link in the description. So if you scroll down here, they have a lot of properties for rent and sale that you can check out. Um, but for now, we're just going to look at some land just to get an idea of what's going on in that regard. So we'll say for sale, parish, I'm going to do St. Anne, property type, going to do residential lot, currency, I'm going to keep it Jamaican. And then price range, what I want to do here, guys, is give you an idea of what you get for the different price ranges, right? So zero to five million Jamaican. So this would be about, say, $40,000, up to $40,000, yes. So let's see what they have in St. Anne um, as far as residential lots in this price range. All right, so you see here... Goshen Browns, Brownstown, Beecher Town. If you're familiar with Jamaica, these are kind of farther out from Ocho Rios. They're not like, I wouldn't say they're in the middle of all the action, right? Um, some of them are larger. Like this one, for example, is two acres, which is a great piece of land for 4.8 million. Um, but as you can see here, there's it, it, they're kind of farther out from the middle of things, which can be a positive if you want a quieter area, um, if you want to be more secluded. This is actually really cool here, guys. Um, this These pieces of land are 4.5 million, and they have views of the sea which is very uncommon in this price range, which is probably why they're under contract right now, because someone saw them and scooped them up. That is very rare in this price range. All right, so you see some of the lots, like for example, this lot is rectangular and just over 4,000 square feet. So not huge, right? Um, this one here is 18,000 square feet, so that's, um, that's definitely a little bigger uh, for 4.5 million. So that gives you an idea of what's available up to 5 mil. I want to show you 5 to 10, so this would be up to maybe like 85,000 US around in that area. So you're going to see with these, you get a little neighborhoods that are going to be maybe closer to town. Proximity would be closer. Um, some of the sizes, for example, this one's 52,000 square feet. And you're getting a little closer to town. For example, this one is five minutes from Ocho Rios. So you're getting closer to all the amenities. So here you have some that are under contract, under offer, Pyramid Heights. It's a really popular area right now. Um, and these are about a third of an acre, both of these. And they have, for example, this one has ocean and mountain views. This one has mountain views. So in this price range, 5 to 10 million, you're going to get a little closer to town and you're going to get some ocean and mountain views um, and maybe a little bigger land. This one here, Golden Spring Estate, it's 4.93 acres for 9.3 million. And it's close to St. Anne's Bay and Claremont. So little different location, but um, a good size piece of land, depending on what you're trying to build. And if you want to do any farming or if you want to put in a pool or some different 
uh, structures on the property. Maybe you want a main house and then a few other smaller houses maybe that you could rent out. This one here might be a really good option and it's in a great neighborhood. All right, so then I also wanted to show you 10 million to 20 million. So this would be up to, <clears throat> speaking in US dollars, about up to 150, $160,000 for the piece of land. But right off you see really good views, right? So you have larger pieces of land. For example, this one is 7.9 acres, almost eight acres. 10 minutes from the beaches and hotels and great views of the sea. So this one also has a really good view of the sea at 18.5 million. So you can see for the different, I just wanted to show you guys the different price ranges and what you would get, like the size um, of the land, the location, and the views, right? So if we go down here, this is like, this one says it's great for farming. So if you're looking for something, some land to farm, it's 20 acres. So that would be great for farming. So depending on what you're looking for, this will give you an idea of what's available in the different price ranges. This one is in, here's another one in Pyramid Heights, 14.3 million. Um, this lot is improved with an unfinished three bedroom structure. So it's not, actually this one has part of a structure. It's not completely finished, but the startings of a three bedroom home. So that's a pretty good price. I mean, it's all relative, but that's a pretty good price um, for having a home already started on the property. Then you would just um, have to finish it up and do any improvements or additions that you wanted to do. This one here um, is near Sandals Golf Course. And all the homes in this area are custom built. So this gives you guys an idea of what's out there as far as land. Um, I know in the comments from one of my other videos, somebody said that they had a piece of land that they were going to build on, which I think is awesome because then you can get exactly what you want. You can design your house um, so it works for you and your family. Everybody has a little different need. Um, so that's a really really cool option. So I wanted to hear from you guys. Um, if you have land, if you're in Jamaica and you have land and you're planning to build, um, what kind of land do you have? What made you buy that piece of land? Or maybe you inherited it from family. It might be something that your parents or grandparents had at one point. So I would be really interested to see what you guys' thoughts are on land and whether you would want to buy land and build and go through that process, or if you would rather just buy a house, maybe a house in a new development or a house in, in a very established area. So I would love to hear you guys' feedback. If you have any experience with buying land or building in Jamaica, um, we've built in Jamaica, but it was more commercial building versus residential. So Honestly, I, being here in the U.S., I would have some apprehensions about building a residential home in Jamaica just because there's a lot of coordination that goes into it. Um, like I said, we did some commercial construction, which is a little different. I think you're a little less attached to a commercial building than you would be a home that you're building for yourself. So interested to hear your thoughts. Um, if you're in Jamaica and building a home, how's it going? Um, how are the contractors? That can be tricky sometimes, getting the work done um, on time and in budget. So I would love to hear you guys' feedback. Um, what is your experience and what are you more interested in, land versus buying a property that has a house already? So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment, um, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.
Hush, Mama.